<laughs> we were the only one I got wrong. And this and this one, I feel like we should I, I should have this count as like three points towards my total, but um <laughs> and a pleasant surprise <laughs> all, <laughs> and a pleasant surprise on the night. Uh we have Raquel Rodriguez and Liv Morgan defeating Shayna Baszler and Ronda Rousey. And now we got again, we got new We all got this one wrong. <laughs> No, I got this one right. I think hey, right. Right. <laughs> that's why I'm like, that's why I'm like, I need, I need this to count as three. <laughs> no, no. You got a one and a half. <laughs> okay, get a half of one. I, mean, and, um, I mean, if we had known that, <laughs> we know now. I mean, if we had known that Ronda had a hard out in her contract, which pretty much says that that SummerSlam is going to be the end, and they had to get to this feud before they, before then, maybe, yeah, yeah but. Definitely, of course, with uh, Ronda Rousey. I mean, Shayna Baszler just randomly attacking Ronda Rousey and throwing away the tag titles to Raquel Rodriguez and Liv Morgan. What do you got? I thought this match was pretty good, how it was the pacing and then the surprise out of nowhere in the middle, even though I thought it was random as hell. I think we all can agree that we were all happy to see it. <laughs> yeah. I know, no, we definitely, we definitely were very, very happy to see, to see it. I mean, <laughs> this, we, if there's any positive that comes out of this, it, I think we talked about it in the chat. In the chat, uh, the mm -hmm. only positive that comes out of this is to get back to NXT Shailen Baszler. Yeah, the, the the Queen of Space that was dominant, two time NXT Women's Champion that was just pretty much beating everybody in front, beating everybody in front of her was, was dominant, was 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 fearful, and now. And now you see how she was booked when she came to the main roster, you know, biting Becky Lynch and how everything has been going downhill ever since then. And now you're finally starting to see some some resurgence. However, mm -hmm. I didn't I didn't I, I didn't like this from the standpoint of this. Ronda Rousey, she's not a baby, she's not she's not a likable person anymore. I mean, when she, when, she first, when, she, when she had that first match with Kurt Angle and Triple H and Stephanie McMahon, that first match where she still had the MMA mystique, everybody loved Ron. Everybody loved Ronda Rousey. Then, but then the moment, the, but the moment she grabbed that microphone and started talking, and wasn't talking like like how the WWE audience is accustomed to hearing pe people speak. It's been it's been it's been down it's been downhill ever, ever since then. And we saw it on Monday Night Raw when these two interacted. It was the most cheers I've ever heard Shayna Baszler get since I've seen her on TV. <laughs> like people, yeah. people legit want want Shayna Baszler to just whip, whip her ass and move on. So, <laughs> so the whole point of this feud, if Ronda's supposed to be the face in this feud, I mean, I mean, it's not it's not going to work from that standpoint. But, but to go to go back to actually the, this match, definitely was <clears> definitely <throat> was a surprise. Definitely didn't see this coming. Like, you know, like I said, the reports the reports say that initially. You know, Ronda, you know, Ronda and Shayna were supposed to be tag team champions way months before, but then Ronda had the injury, so you didn't yeah. really get to see the storyline playing out, but play out where Shayna eventually tur turns on Ronda. But since, like this, like like I said, the hard out in her in her contract, I, I guess I guess after SummerSlam, she's gonna be done. Maybe 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 not. Maybe the mm -hmm. feud goes longer. I mean, we'll definitely see in the, see in the coming weeks. But um, as far as the match goes, the the match was the match was what it was. It's nice. It's nice to see. It's it's nice to see a Liv Morgan back. Even though I, even though I have been very critical of her, you know, as far as promos and such goes, you know, it is ni nice to see her back. But the only you know drawback to it is okay. Now you got Raquel and Liv as tag team champions, which now means you've sub essentially subtracted a, a contender in Raquel Rodriguez away from going after Rhea Ripley. I mean, you still got Becky out there. If if the plan is to make Shayna as dominant as she was again. You could have her definitely going after, uh, going after Rhea. I don't know how they're gonna book that, but it definitely would be uh, interesting. But uh, overall, de decent, decent match. Uh, the only positive that comes from it is that we're gonna get NXT Shayna Baszler again. Yeah. Um, thank you, Triple H. For giving us, back, <laughs> for giving us back our NXT people. I mean, it definitely was. It's, it's, it's just, I'm sorry. It just baffles me, and you guys know this as well as I do. How, how do you have people who are these, you know, who were these huge top stars in NXT who were so? And I get it. Not everybody, um, who watches Raw and SmackDown. Probably watch NXT because they're just like, ah, you know, I oh, I see this person. You want me, me to cut you off? That's, that's the only logical. That's their only exactly. logic. No, I know. The only, <laughs> logic, know. the only logic for why they do that. I'm just, and I know, <laughs> and, but like we've discussed this so many times on here, where it's just like the fact that NXT and NXT takeovers were so great for probably like what 
a good three or four years, I would say, mm-hmm. you know, <laughs> and to how hot to the point that they even became their own brand and were another team in Survivor Series. Won a Survivor Series. Exactly. <laughs> like you had so I many think they swept stars. it. And by the record, I actually read the report that Triple H wants, wants NXT involved in this year's Survivor Series, similar to that one year. So. They have to have, <laughs> like, I mean, right now for me, it's just Carmelo Hayes and Braun Breaker, but I'm like, I don't know who else. I haven't been watching NXT as much, which I'm really trying to get back into. But I'm, it still baffles me, like, the people that were so hot there who aren't even there now, and it's just like, how did you not get the Undisputed Era on there? How did you not get a Samoa Joe, like, title run. How is it now Shinsuke's popping? How is it Butch? Like, it's just crazy <laughs> careers that could have, like, you like if you would have just took these people and just put them on the main roster, maybe even created, like, here, it's like NXT Invasion, whatever. They could have mm-hmm. been their own fucking brand, and you could have had all these top people way early mm-hmm. on before all this time passed, you know? Um, but you know, the, the I'm saying thank you, Triple H, because Shayna was such a beast. Mind you, I did like her work. I I wouldn't say her promos were always the best, but she showed off in the ring and yeah, showed yeah, she was yeah. very mm-hmm. dangerous. And you know, as much as her talking wasn't the best, like even just that single move where she either will bring your hand down and stomping you, like that actually looks like it's painful. You know, and yeah, like, yeah, yeah. she did it to so many people and, like, you know, ran with, like, stories. Like, oh, you, she broke her arm and put her in this arm bar, careful to clutch, like, all these things. Like, she because was, she's a sub- submission specialist. Exactly. <laughs> it, it makes sense. sense. <laughs> and, and, again, and again, another missed opportunity where you literally could have had your four horsewomen against four MMA women that you had all lined <laughs> up and never did. So... I mean, yeah, they did have. All hey, four it's of it's a bunch of what ifs, but I'm happy that you know a lot of people in NXT who should have easily transitioned are finally getting their dues, and you know that's why even back to money the, the ladder match like Butch getting these highlights, Shinsuke getting these highlights, like j- these guys can go. There's no reason that it should be so complicated to like, oh, let's change them and do this and that and that, and you're like. Why, if it ain't broke, why, why fix it? You know, like, and that's the thing that I feel like they were. It's kind of like the size test they always do. Hey, stand next to Orton and see if you're a top guy or not. Yeah, and there's so like not everybody's six foot four, not everybody's six foot ten, <laughs> two hundred and seventy pounds. Like, not everybody's like that. But I feel like, and and this is the thing too. A lot of the times they called them up too fast. Yeah, like there's a couple of instances. Like, there's a lot of people that they called up too fast where they could have just been in NXT developing and continuing, and, and they didn't do that. Alistair Black, those two. Yeah, like a I'll lot never of forget when they randomly like, brought those guys up. I, like, I think it was Ricochet, Al- Alistair Black. It was like a bunch of them at the same time. EC3, Nick Frost, they brought all of them up at once. I remember yo, that. Yo, I like, love the EC3, and he's another one. I'm like, yo, he could have been – he was shredded. He could talk. He – E. Exactly. Like, exactly. He easily could off of LA night, like exactly. He could talk, but they had this motherfucker <laughs> pantomime. <it. laughs> like, I don't, I don't could, have, could he? Could he? Have, I'm, I'm going to sound blasphemous right now, but he could have been the earlier version of MJF. He could. You just so let him be a prick. Have. If you just let him be a prick and gave him the prestige of, hey, I have money. I'm a prick. I come from a prestigious family. Da 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 da, and just played on that. It would have yeah. been fine, but as Brian said, they had him pantomiming, doing dumb shit. Exactly. And getting, and, and he Who was like, was like his call up was like uh, I can't remember the dude's name. Remember like Sean Stasiak and the invasion angle when they just basically had him running into walls. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. what I that's what I compare it to. <laughs> that's what I compare it to. But it's just like yeah. a lot of these NXT people, Shayna Baszler included, even though she had a good strong showing and they were booking her strong in terms of wins, the storylines didn't make sense for her character. She didn't need to bite Becky Lynch. In the back of her neck, and then we saw her at Elimination Chamber where she was just a badass and beat everybody, even though mm-hmm. I didn't agree with that. Why booking. didn't you roll with that? Like <laughs> it added to her as yeah. as a as a wrestler, as a mystique. Like, yo, she's a badass. She she choked out Oscar to win the match, which of course I didn't like. But 
that's who she was in NXT. Like she was there for two years, kicking everybody's ass. <laughs> like so, one of the only woman to win the title. Like what was it, two or three times? Twice, I think. Twice, yeah, twice, yeah. yeah, like I'm like, yo, this sh- this isn't. It isn't complicated. Yeah. <laughs> it maybe isn't complicated. It, it, maybe it was the whole you know. As much as we have discussed beat this with a dead horse, like the whole Vince, like, well, you know, NXT is NXT when it's a different mm-hmm. ball game here. I'm gonna make it my own, or let's do this and that, <clears throat> create new characters. But it's just like, how do you not look at this product and see how well it's doing? And, and another thing, I get that it, maybe it's like that. ego. <laughs> no, no, no. Seriously, it's, 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 you can't be running this massive company and have all these. Sub things and be like, eh, it doesn't matter. That doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter because it's like, <laughs> look at the two hundred five live. Like that was the the tournament was amazing. Yeah, and yeah, you yeah, literally yeah. had like Cedric Alexander. Yo, let's mm-hmm. sign him. Ali, other people, and you're like, yo, this is actually hot. The Cruiserweight like, Classic, not... Koto Ibushi, like all these guys that came in. Oh, I forgot that. that Koto Ibushi was actually. <laughs> so, Zach Saber Jr. was in it. He was in Zach that. Zach Jr. Jr. was in it. <laughs> <laughs> It's so just it's like, like, how do you not capitalize on these things? Like, you know, and this yes, is the thing. you've the had only... weights in the past, but like, you're literally creating a show, a title. Mm-hmm. Why make it if you're not gonna bother investing in it? Exactly. It's like, how are you gonna create NXT and oh, it's a brand, but then you're not listening to the. And the only reason why they screwed up NXT was because it lost to AEW, and it's like AEW is basically a main event show. <laughs> That's why they destroyed NXT Black and Gold. Is because I would never, never understand. I, mean, I, I, don't, I, don't, understand I don't honestly don't even know. I honestly don't even know why. Like, yo, who? Can, all right, so you're competing against them head to head to head. It's like, yo. Everybody in their mama knows that that even though you're saying that it's a third brand that's more popular than Raw and SmackDown, that the more the money is being made with Raw and SmackDown that NXT is developmental. We, like we all know that, so <laughs> you should have known that up against up against Chris Jericho, Moxley, Daniel Bryan, Andrew, exactly. AEW was going to be was going to be NXT. This is why because there was all that thing, and it, it was the new thing. thing. Like, this is why I don't understand why um, <laughs> AEW continues as the tout all we beat NXT. Yeah, you're, you're kind of supposed to be at be NXT. <laughs> exactly. When you beat WWE's main show, then then you can you can brag. But but you were supposed to be at be NXT. Yeah. <laughs> no, and like I was just saying, it's like it was the new thing. Yeah, you got mind you, what Daniel Bryan was in there. He was like, well, you, still there too. <laughs> you had Jericho. You had and you're like, yeah, let me. I'm already watching Raw SmackDown, not NXT. Let me check out this new thing. And I feel like in this day and age where there's so much streaming. You can't even base a show off of ratings anymore because it's just like no. I I was watching NXT. I wasn't watching NXT every fucking Tuesday. I was like, oh shit, I did I miss last week? Did I miss it? I binge like two, three episodes. I'm like, yo, that's fire. That was fire. That's fire. Like, you know, I would catch up because it's just like I'm not always like, oh, it's it's Tuesday. Um, it's eight (laughs) o'clock. You know, it was just like so. But anyways, yeah, back, <laughs> back, to, yeah. back to the topic, you know, I'm just happy that Shane is getting her push. Mm-hmm. Rhonda and like Brian said, I, this is going to be, I don't know if it's going to be tough because it's like, I feel people are going to, like you said, we're getting cheers for Shayna. People don't like Rhonda right now. Does it? <laughs> like, I don't know if this turn would have made more sense if Rhonda turned on Shayna, but it's like, you need to push for Shayna, but could you I have think they're trying could you have to still make, done that? To trying me, to make Ronda a baby face, and yeah. it's not going to work. To me, <laughs> to, me, to me, it's real simple how you book how you book this food, book this feud. Just simple, just do, just do video packages like it's an MMA fight. That's the only way you. Get, that's the only way you can do. It. <laughs> yeah, actually, have, it. Have, let let that one segment I they mean, have on Raw be the only segment they have in the ring, and just do video packages until SummerSlam. They just need to just have Ronda attack Shayna all the way up until. SummerSlam, maybe have an injury angle like she hurts her ribs, hurts her wrist or a leg or something like that, yeah. and just play it up and have Shayna overcome and be a badass at SummerSlam. Send Ronda Rousey packing until she can either go to UFC or repackage herself to come back at the Rumble, attack Shayna, some type of thing like that, and then have Ronda just be a badass, be a fucking heel. She doesn't have to have to talk. Maybe have her be a Paul Heyman guy by that time. But <laughs> do something of that nature that makes that if she's going to go away for a little bit, 
once she comes back, reinvent her as a badass. Like this is a chance to give her a break. If she's if she's she lost the out, I think she might be done at this point. Because oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's rumors I, that I'm, I'm, I'm Rena White is waiting. I'm really hoping this is the end of Rhonda because. I don't know. She was great. I think it was a great thing when they first brought her in. You know, the stuff with The Rock. They the just and... need somebody to talk for her. Yeah. But it was, I saying, feel like that was when, it. when she turned to heel, that was just like, you got you got to be able to talk crap as a heel. And if it's corny and it's prime examples, you got, which I feel like should be easy for her, but it's not. Trish. Another example right now in AEW, Jungle Boy. I'm like, yeah, you're, you're not a heel. This is not, it's we like, don't you don't you. have that authentic, like, yo, fuck you guys. You ain't do shit. Like, it has to but the be. But the thing is, the thing is, even in UFC, her personality isn't like that. The thing yeah, that she got she was an the, Yeah, ass. she's an asshole. Her, but I think naturally her personality isn't that. Her kicking your ass in judo in the ring is her. That's yeah. how she got over. Yeah. Like she's a geek. <laughs> like if you like, she, she talks is. about Pokemon and all this other types of shit in video games. She's a geek. If you hear her in interviews, like she's not that. It's she doesn't come like, off like that. She plays like Every, League, of League of Legends and all this shit. Like yeah, like she's character not, in some mobile game or whatever. It's like she's not. She's not but, that type of person. <laughs> but, uh, the video game stuff I feel like doesn't really matter because. In this day and age, who doesn't fucking play video games? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, when looking back at her UFC days, like, you know, she wouldn't shake people's hands. Like, she would, like, talk so much shit to the fight. And even she lost him, like, eh. or even if she won, the person would be like, oh, hey, good fight. She'd be like, no, nah, I'm still the champ. And, you know, her fall was a hard. And then fall. she got kicked in the face. <laughs> <laughs> it is very tough to yeah, hold it home. Humbled the fuck out of her. That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's what happened. <laughs> and it's very tough to hold that mystique when you got kicked in your face. And then the second time you fought, you were crying. Like, it's not easy to hold that together. Was her last fight against Amanda Nunez? Was it Amanda? Was it Amanda who finally, like, destroyed her? Or was it somebody else? Am I, am no, I well, her first L was against Holly Holm. I remember that. I know that one. But what was it? Like the last one fight, it could, have been, it could have been Amanda Nunez. I believe it was Amanda. If, if, if it was, then it's perfectly justified. I mean, yeah. Amanda's, Amanda's the best. <laughs> yeah, Amanda's the best division. And, 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 and she was just yeah. destroying people until last month. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but going back to as far as Raquel and Liv Morgan, as much as it sucks to say, because I just want Raquel to get this push and run. Um, I and I, I'm sorry, I keep forgetting their their names. I keep saying Core Jade, but I know it's not right. It's the two it's short not, girls. Oh, um, Katie Carter, 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 Katana Chance. Katie Carter, Katana. I gotta like say that like ten times because I can never. <laughs> I see them in my mind, and I'm like, I know these are not their names. I would honestly just, I mean, just because they're like, they look like a tag team to me. I'm like, you'll just give them the titles and just let them run. Give them some time on the brands. You know, you get I got them going to NXT. They can go against everybody. Whatever you know, and the fact that like what's her name, um, Chelsea Green and Sonya are like number one contenders, and I'm like, who's gonna mm. believe that they're actually you gonna win? Through the whole fucking women's roster. I was mad. I was mad. To we cover Raw, but I didn't agree with that shit at all. I was mad. Uh, I mean, I, I don't think we're gonna cover it in the Raw recap, but we can mm. recover it here since we're on the subject. Yeah. I did not like. As you said, Caden Carter and Katana Chase, they're the most experienced tag team. They got defeated. Indy Hartwell, in, Indy Hartwell and uh, uh, Candice LeRae are established tag team from NXT. Yeah. Actually had some matches. They got they, destroyed. They were the like, tag teams at one point, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, so to have Sonya Deville and Chelsea Green, I understand Chelsea Green's uh, place. I understand Sonya Deville's place. But it's like, there's other tag teams that you guys could be highlighting. Maybe they're going to do it later. There's still five weeks until SummerSlam. <laughs> but it's like, I don't think they should have been the winners in that one. That's just my yeah. opinion on it. But, I mean, that yeah. whole tag team turmoil match just kind of just, remember, just reminded me of, like, who, who was actually in this division that we may have forgotten about. Like, I totally forgot about Tegan Knox. Forgot about <laughs> Puma. I mean, some of, some of these women are just like, yo, I haven't seen these Wait, women in weeks. And it's just like. Tegan Knox and who? 
Yeah, T- yeah Tegan Knox was teamed. Dana I don't remember who Tegan Knox was teamed Dana up Brooke. with. I don't remember. Yeah, she was teamed up with Dana Brooke. Dana Brooke. <laughs> what you, you know, which is, and then Nikki is, Cross was I, with. I, I don't understand. Know. I'd be Nikki upset if I got to go. Hey, you're teaming with Dana Brooke. Today. I don't understand why they wouldn't put Dana Brooke and Emma together. Like, when, that makes sense. Where like, is Emma? <laughs> Where is Emma? <laughs> like, they had Emma with Nikki Cross. And, and now Nikki Cross apparently is in some storyline right now with Candace with Candace LeRae. I don't so, understand that story whatsoever. I like just just give me the way and throw Nikki in there, I guess. But it's just it doesn't even make no, sense. No, I've said this. I've said this many of times with Nikki Cross. It is not complicated. She just needs to be the woman version of mankind. That's just, it. <laughs> That's it. Honestly, have her play yeah. that character. And fucking be the hardcore person of the division, not Liv Morgan, who is like they try to always play that up, and it's like no. <laughs> they <laughs> did it for like a little bit, and it just yeah, yeah, and it was just like, and they still kind of hint at it. I'm like, no, just have Nikki Cross be this hardcore person who fucking randomly does some crazy shit, and then eventually gets over. <laughs> it's not complicated. You don't have that type of person in the division. She can fit that void of a person who's extreme, the person who can take things there. Who a person is just going to be random as fuck in the division? And it's like I don't, see, I don't know why they won't do it. This is why it's just like this tag team division is just all over the place. Because it's just like you're just pairing people up to pair them. Yeah, so they're, they're not they're teams. Yeah, but exactly. they're, you know they do these matches just to be a tag team, and then boom, they're right back to single stars because it's just like, and then they just randomly put them together again. Tag team division. Oh, and this was the other thing that oh, I forgot to mention. This this was the 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 reason why I was like, okay, Ron and Shane are gonna go through this for a while because you see all these reports of like, no, we're trying to uplift these titles. We're trying to make this like a real thing, and then. This happens. You're like, what happened to all this talk? What happened to like to this rumors of demanding? You know, we want to highlight these titles, and this and, that, and then boom. Well, now we're turning on each other. And now Shane is getting the push. It's like, <laughs> so we're back to square one again. It's like, and that's the thing. They just have to figure out a way to build this tag team. And the one thing that you do, you don't put them in a to- tag team tournament match. You oh actually give them time God. on TV. <laughs> that is how you do it. Regardless if you get a reaction or not, like. The fucking I don't I don't know what they call Candace um um Kaden Carter and Katana Chase's tag team. They just just their names. Like the party, <laughs> the party, the party girls, or whatever the case may be. But this is the thing all you need. They're able to get on they're able to get on TV and be entertaining. It's like you gotta be able to give these people time. But this is the thing though. You literally need three teams. Mm-hmm. One, two, three, and then you can just mold other teams into that. Mm-hmm. Well, you don't even have that. You just have people just tagging with each other. Mm-hmm. It's like you can't build a tag team. But like if you think of the men, look at the top teams. You got the New Day, the Usos, and uh, give me somebody else. Fucking the Brawling Brutes. Brawling Brutes. <laughs> boom. Pretty deadly. One versus the other. The other one was the other one, and then boom, you could do a triple threat. That's a, your division right there. <laughs> Half of the year. You tell me you can't do it. Give me three teams for this women's division, and boom, Consistent. you have your stories. <laughs> yeah, but I think yeah, but I think that's why they unified the titles initially because they realized that and even in NXT, that like there, there's not a lot of tag teams. So just but NXT is where oh, it should let's start. let's say the titles for the <laughs> But this is the thing: NXT is where it should start. Like, boom, call these women this, call these women this. You had Toxic Extraction. That was one tag team. It's just like. Yeah, just... Build, build, <laughs> and then yes, you got your women's tag, and then have them face everyone in NXT, and then just bring these people up, and that's your division. It's like mm-hmm. it shouldn't be this hard, but I'm going in circles, so <laughs> it, shouldn't, it shouldn't. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be that difficult. Um, and Amanda, Amanda Nunez did defeat Ronda Rousey as her last. Yes. Match. So yeah, which was beautiful. Perfect. I did. I did. I did beautiful. I did go to Google. Um, right. Our next match on the was the IC title. Gunther versus Matt Riddle. Uh, pretty entertaining match, even though it was kind of short. But I did feel like these guys did work well together. And, of course, Gunther getting the 